It is the second largest dam in Iraq and a key strategic site northwest of the capital. It not only provides vital water and power supplies, but there are fears if it fell to insurgents, they could flood Baghdad and the surrounding countryside. Last week, the U.S. Defense Department released video footage purportedly showing fighter jets destroying IS targets near the Mosul Dam. Fresh attacks have been launched today. The dam was seized earlier in the year. U.S. military strikes helped support Iraqi and Kurdish forces to retake it. These aerial assaults have been vital in keeping militants at bay as they target Iraq's dams, infrastructure and oil fields. <laughs> Daily, new Iraqi government recruits continue to volunteer for service, while efforts are still underway to form a new inclusive government in Baghdad with full Sunni representation. The Americans' action today is the first of its kind in the Anbar province. They say it was launched at the request of the Iraqi government. The U.S. Defense Secretary denied it's an escalation of U.S. involvement. They too, the Iraqi Security Force, Air Force, is conducting uh, strikes. Aditha Dam is a critically important facility uh, for uh, Iraq. Uh, it is, I think, the second largest hydroelectric dam uh, in Iraq. Kurdish Peshmerga fighters say U.S. airstrikes were instrumental in helping them to recapture the strategically important Mount Zartak, which overlooks a plain that stretches to Mosul. This mainly Sunni-dominated city was seized by IS in June. The Fallujah Dam also remains under the militants' control. The group has taken over large swathes of Iraq and Syria in recent months. It's been accused of the mass killing of ethnic and religious minorities and has released brutal footage of American journalists being beheaded. Jane Francis Kelly, BBC News.